Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 35-acre wooded home site with electricity and road frontage in southern Colorado. This property, the entire west boundary, borders nearly 640 acres of state land that is also contiguous with over 3,650 acres of BLM land that extends up into Little Sheep Mountain. This is a recent aerial photo of the property looking at Little Sheep Mountain and Sheep Mountain. This is the road leading to the property from the intersection of County Roads 540 and 542. And then we're looking at Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest in the background. There are electricity lines and poles already in place on the property. And here we are looking northeast at those electricity lines and poles. There are areas of dense mature trees. You have multiple open meadows. This is the open meadow in the center portion of the property which is roughly about three and a quarter acres. And then this is the view looking northeast from that open meadow directly at the Greenhorn Mountain and San Isabel National Forest. And this is a Google Earth terrain view. Now we're north of the property looking south. There are multiple large open meadows on the property along with varied terrain that has areas of dense mature trees. There are electricity lines and poles already on the property. And the property is accessible by these two roads. So this road right here connects directly to the intersection of County Road 540 and 542, which you see right here. So this is that area where County Roads 542 and 540 intersect. And then this road that comes right from that intersection of those county roads. And this road splits right there. And a portion runs right here through the north point of the property. And this is the very north tip right here. This is east of the property looking west. Now County Road 540 intersects right up here to County Road 560. And then that connects directly to State Highway 69. And in this photo, this is where that County Road 560 and State Highway 69 meet, which is about from the property. State Highway 69, the paved highway, is only about 3.8 miles. So in addition to having these multiple open meadows on the property, there's also areas of the elevated portion where there's open natural clearings. And then here we are to the southwest of the property looking northeast. This is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. If you look at these open meadows, we went ahead and measured this area. And this open meadow right here on the north portion of the property from where that road intersects, this is about two and a half acres. And then the open meadow on the center portion of the property, this is about three and a quarter acres. So if we look at this with the state land layer turned on, you can see the entire western boundary here adjoins this about 643 acres of state land. And this state land is then contiguous with this BLM land. Now see if there's this little gap right there, this state land shaded area for some reason shifted and see how it overlaps right here. So this would be flush with the entire west boundary of the property. And then here you can see the topographic map. The elevation is around 7,100 feet at the lower portion and about 7,200 feet at the higher portion of the property. And even on these elevated areas, it's a gentle slope. So you have a lot of level area up here if you wanted to build at the higher elevation points. So here we are looking at the property on the plat map. This is lot 40. And there's a 20 foot wide easement around the perimeter of each parcel. So where there are adjoining parcels, that easement would be 40 feet wide. And then over here we have about 3,250 acres of BLM land. And you have easements in place that will lead you directly to that BLM land. So from the property to this BLM land, you're only about a quarter mile. Here's the parcel, the 35 acres right here. So we have the state land that the property adjoins. It's then contiguous with this BLM land. It's also easily accessible via these county roads. So County Road 560 will take you right into that BLM land, along with County Road 542. And then here's the over 3,250 acres of BLM land that's just about a quarter mile from the property. And then we looked at those easements that will take you directly to that BLM land as well. So between these two parcels of BLM land, you have roughly 7,000 acres of BLM land that is just a short distance from the property. And that BLM land has varied terrain, areas of dense mature trees. It also extends up to the top of Little Sheep Mountain. Then you're also in close proximity to National Forests, which are shaded green, 
and national parks shaded purple, along with tens of thousands of acres of additional BLM and state land. Then you're also just a short distance from the town of Gardner up here to the north, which is only about four miles away. You have Interstate 25 right here, which is accessible via State Highway 69. Then you have the town of Walsenburg, which is population around 3,200, where you'll find hospital, grocery stores, lumber, and building supplies. There's professional services, restaurants, etc. You have the Lathrop State Park, about 1,600 acres, with the two lakes. Then you have, here's Route 160. Down here is the popular town of Levita. This is a path leading to the property from State Highway 69, so you'll intersect with County Road 550. And then once you're on County Road 550, you almost immediately turn south onto County Road 560. And where County Road 560 and 540 intersect, you're going to stay south on 540. And then this is the intersection of County Roads 540 and 542. And there you can see there are underground telephone and internet lines along County Roads 540 and 542. This is where 542 splits off. And then if you were to make this turn right here almost a, a soft u-turn this will be the road leading to the property so going back to this image here this is where you would make that you know gentle u-turn to then turn on the road that leads to the property so, so this is the area where the road splits so here you have the road that runs through the north portion of the property and then this is the road that runs along the very north tip of the property and this road here is actually really nice and smooth and then here we are looking to the northeast you can see this is the road on the north portion of the property and then this is the road that runs just along the north tip of the property so where this property is located you have incredible breathtaking views in all directions so here we are from the north portion of the property looking to the northwest that is the Sangre de Cristo mountain range and here we are looking to the south at one of the large open meadows on the property and then here's an example showing some of the varied elevation and terrain this is one of those open meadows on an elevated portion of the property surrounded by mature trees and offering you know, breathtaking views of the greenhorn mountain and san isabel national forest and here's another one of those postcard worthy images from the property looking at Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. And then here we are looking northwest at the Sangre de Cristo mountain range from one of the higher elevation points on the property. Now we're looking to the southwest. Here we have Sheep Mountain. This is Mount Mestis and Rough Mountain. This is Silver Mountain. Here's a path of what would be some you know, seasonal water flow during like a heavy rain or snow melt. And this is from the south portion of the property looking south. From that south portion, now we're just looking northeast at the electricity lines and poles that run along the southern portion of the property. And there are multiple poles already in place on the property. Some of the landowners have cattle grazing in the area. You could have horses, livestock, exotics, other types of animals. There are a couple nearby landowners to the south that have developed their properties. You can see they have their main home right here. There's some sort of accessory building right here. Here's another landowner with what appears to be like a nicer, newer, manufactured home. Looks like it's a like a, a double wide size manufactured home. They have a small storage building over here. Here are some other landowners off in the distance that have developed their properties as well. There are no covenants, restrictions, no HOA, no HOA fees or assessments. There's no time limit to build. And the minimum dwelling size is only 600 square feet. Looking at the distances to nearby cities and points of interest, you're only 3.8 miles to Highway 69. You're about 10 minutes to the town of Gardner. There's a cafe in Gardner. There's a school there, a couple churches, post office. Then you're about 23 minutes to the Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, and the San Isabel National Forest. These are photos going up to the Bedito Cone area. And this area is just incredibly beautiful. These are views looking out from the area around the Bedito Cone. This is Little Sheep Mountain right here, so our property would be right over in this area right here. You're about 33 minutes to Interstate 25. Now, Interstate 25 will take you down into Walsenburg. It'll take you further down south to Trinidad, even further south into New Mexico, or north up to Pueblo, Colorado Springs, and then on into Denver. You're about 40 minutes to Walsenburg, which is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. There's a hospital in Walsenburg. There's Main Street. There's a K-12 through public school in Walsenburg. There are multiple grocery stores. There's a lumber and building supply store in Walsenburg. There's the Colorado State Veterans Home at the Spanish Peaks Regional Health Center. You're about 48 minutes to the Lathrop State Park, which is nearly 1,600 acres and contains two lakes, which are desirable for fishing, boating, swimming, and water sports. You're about 50 minutes to La Vita, which is a popular 
popular tourist destination. About an hour and 11 minutes to the city of Trinidad, which has a population of around 10,000. In Trinidad, you'll find a hospital. There's additional grocery stores, supplies. There's even a Walmart super center there. About an hour and 16 minutes to the Trinidad Lake State Park, which is an 800 plus acre lake. About an hour and nine minutes to Pueblo. Pueblo has a population of around 100,000, so pretty much anything you need, you can find in Pueblo. About an hour and 47 minutes to Colorado Springs, which has a population of nearly half a million. And then about two hours and 50 minutes to Denver, which the Denver metropolitan area has a combined population well over a million. And then here we have an image with the nearby landowners that have developed their properties circled. And we have that in relationship to the public land. So you can see where a lot of private land exists the landowners there are developing those properties. And we can see what just a few of those landowners are doing. They have, some of them will have main homes, accessory buildings, corrals, guest homes, workshops. Some may just have a little tiny home or cabin or even a single wide mobile home. So we have this amazing 35 acre wooded home site with electricity and road frontage, breathtaking mountain views in all directions, and then bordering public land along the entire western boundary, which is then contiguous with BLM land and you have approximately 7,000 acres of BLM land within about a quarter mile of the property. Because of all those highly desirable unique attributes combined together into this one property, we have this 35 acres priced at just 55,000. All the property details are listed here on our website. Again, there's no HOA, there's no HOA fees, there's no covenants or restrictions, there's no time limit to build. You can do alternative types of construction. The minimum dwelling size is only 600 square feet. Property is located in Game Management Unit 85. This area is very desirable for the hunting of elk and mule deer, along with white-tailed deer, pronghorn antelope, bear, wild turkey, and dusky blue grouse. The property taxes are only $68.84 a year. We have information on the distances to all the nearby cities and points of interest, along with the GPS coordinates, over 100 photos, in this interactive map. So properties in this area have been selling quickly and it's rare that we come across a property that has all these great attributes in one. So if this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information, then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase, and we cover all of the closing costs. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of those methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have this live chat feature on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we'll respond to you at our next availability. We also have this contact form on our website right here where you can submit a message to us or you can send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. As always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and share our properties and our website with all your family, friends, and colleagues. Our family is truly blessed to be meeting so many new people and helping them to fulfill their dreams with the acquisition of amazing properties. We look forward to the opportunity of doing business with you. May God continue to bless you and your family.